tree to see if I will fit. <gasps> It's Rachel. We're at the 2019 Dubai Air Show and this is Emirates' huge A380 plane. The airline has over 100 of the double-decker planes in its fleet, making it the largest operator of the A380. Passengers on board can choose to travel economy, business or first class and we're going to hop on board to find out what the real difference is between all three. First up, we're going to check out Emirates economy section, which takes up the whole lower level of the plane. So every seat in economy um, comes with a little cushion that you should put behind your back, headphones for the entertainment system and a blanket. Come in, you know, plastic packaging, but that's to be expected. It's actually a very, very soft blanket. And then the headphones are quite basic, but they're fine. As well as a 13-inch screen, there are an array of USB and charging sockets, as well as a drinks holder. And there's an okay amount of leg room. I'm 5 foot 9, so I'm quite tall as a woman, and it's okay. It's not loads. There's a remote control in the back of each seat, which you can pull out, and you can use this as a controller to play games either by yourself or against other passengers on the plane, and you can even use them to call other people on board. Economy passengers are served all their food in one go. It comes in little plastic containers, and you get a cold starter, a hot main, a pudding, as well as some bread and cheese. And what is nice is you get real metal cutlery to eat it with as well. Now we've finished checking out economy, let's go and look at business class. To get there, at the back of the plane, there's a spiral staircase which you have to walk up. Let's go. At the top of the stairs, you come into the lounge area. There's an array of snacks and any drink you could want, basically. If you get bored of your first class suite or your business class seat, you can come to the lounge and enjoy a piece of cake and a drink, as well as a change of scene. And now we're in business class. Let's see what you get. The business class seats are a lot more comfortable and a lot more spacious than the seats on economy downstairs. And it's also really nice to have a bit more privacy and a bit more space for yourself. You get a blanket, again, but it's a lot more luxurious. It feels a lot nicer. And you also, again, get headphones, but they're noise cancelling and they look a lot more sleek than the ones downstairs. Here you get socks and eye shades, which is a nice addition, but again, they come in plastic. So, much like in economy, there's an array of plugs and USB ports, but what you don't get in economy is this really nice little bar area full of soft drinks, which you can just help yourself to, so you don't have to bother the cabin crew. There's also a table, as you'd expect. However, it pops out like this and is really big. So you've got room for food and sort of, you know, a notebook or anything on there. And you can adjust the seat by bringing yourself closer to the table. So there's two levels of footrest in business class and there's a really nice amount of legroom. Like, you could stretch out a long way. <laughs> when you're ready to have a sleep, Emirates staff will come round and lay a mattress down on top of your chair which reclines into a bed. You can change the setting and the angle that you want your chair to be and you also get a bag of toiletries by Bulgari. There's one for women and one for men. We've got refreshing towels, a hairbrush, dental kit, perfume, body lotion, tissues, a nourishing face emulsion, which I think is just like a face cream, and a compact mirror. In first class, passengers get a whole suite to themselves. Not only are the chairs super comfortable with a fluffy white pillow behind them, but there's loads of space and everything is incredibly lavish with lots of gold. You get a selection of soft drinks and you can just help yourself.
the table pops out from the side. You just have to pull it out and it's huge. As well as the main toiletry kit that people will be given when they're ready for bed, in the shelf in front of the TV screen, there is extra toiletries in first class with a lovely mirror. You get a facial toner, eye cream, moist towelette, sleep oil, and a pillow mist. So you have everything you need for a good night's sleep, and you can even check yourself out if you need to. There's a selection of different snacks, sweet and savoury waiting for people when they come on board, and there's also rehydration tablets to ensure you don't dehydrate while travelling. When all passengers are on board, first class passengers are offered Arabic coffee and dates. They're able to choose from an a la carte menu and dine whenever they want, and everything is at an even higher level than in business class. For example, if business class passengers are offered Verve Clicquot champagne, first class passengers get Dom Perignon. First class passengers also get a leather bound notebook and pen with Emirates branding and they're allowed to take that away. If you want some privacy, you can close the doors to your suite. <laughs> there is so much leg room in first class, like you could be very tall and still not reach the end. We're now inside the shower spa, which is available to all first class passengers. They just have to book a half hour slot. It's big enough for tall people to stand in, but if you prefer to sit down, there's a bench. as a plane is incredibly impressive and I was blown away by the lavish opulence of first class. However, it's also wildly more expensive than travelling economy. And unless you're a billionaire, probably best to stick with economy travel. 